Welcome back. It's that time for today's talkers. Now this is where we give you the most unusual or crazy videos of the day. Mm -hmm. Our first one. So yesterday, if you were watching, I admitted that I've not driven in snow or really been in a yes. snowstorm before. So I'm a bit of a snow rookie. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I know snow really well, but you're not alone. A pair of refugee children from Africa saw snow for the very first time this year. Now the kids are living in Toronto and saw their first snowfall ever over oh. the weekend. Look at them. Now that is joy, pure joy. <laughs> the siblings are part of a family of five who came from a country near Saudi Arabia because of war, and they will spend a year at a home there while a group finds them a permanent home. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, you can just watch that. <laughs> Wait until it sticks, though, and then they get to make snowmen. I know. I want to see that video. Have snowball fights. <laughs> get in trouble. <laughs> Throwing it at the, uh, the people. All right, the mayor of a Massachusetts town loves his dog, and when she was diagnosed with aggressive cancer, he knew that he needed to act for her. And while she's getting treatment at the vet's office, he did something else to lift oh. her spirits. Attleboro Mayor Paul Hero took Mira on a tour of the U.S. Wow. He drove the 10-year-old Japanese wolf dog to see Canada, L.A., San Fran, the Grand Canyon, and several other sites. Hero and his best friend have returned home, and he plans to write a children's book about the trip. Look at her looking at the buffalo. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so cute. Yeah. Sad. Sad, but, but, but also look at she's at cool. Yosemite. That is yeah. so cool. And I'll tell you right now, oh. that book is going to do really well. That book is going to do. I'm yeah. buying that book. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. How cute is that? Mm. All awesome. right, moving on. We love to see those reunion videos oh, yeah. when service members surprise their families coming home unannounced. Right. And yesterday, the Today Show, which comes on right after us, mm -hmm. uh, the crew there helped surprise another family. Take a look. Yeah, to your family. Hello, everyone. I, I <laughs> wish I could be there. Oh, yeah. sure you could. <laughs> Couldn't you, Sergeant? Come on. Oh. Army Sergeant Dennis Glass surprised his wife and three daughters at 30 Rock yesterday. That's where the studios are. Uh, he'd been stationed in Baghdad for the past 11 months serving as a journalist. The sergeant says he's home for a while and will spend a lot of time with his family. Oh, that one just gives you the chills. That's great. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, there's probably this long, you know, he's the other side of the world and then Al steps in. I know. Oh, that's so cool. I'm Can't sure there enough. was a thought, is Al in Baghdad? No. <laughs> I just saw him. Yeah.